Welcome to another pixelforlife.com tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to ink this character and then create the shadows and highlights ourselves instead of automatically doing it like we did in the previous inking, coloring, and highlighting your mascot lesson. Now this character is a little bit simpler than the last one. I mean not super complex, uh, uh, simple, but it is simpler. Um, and you can see here I have my fish template in the background. It was originally a color image and I just have gotten rid of that and made it black and white and I've put the opacity down to about 30%. Okay, And now I'm going to go into the fish whip folder which would be work in progress, create a new layer in that and we can then get started. First of all go to your brush tool and make sure your diameter at, is at about 5 pixels. And that's actually a little bit small so we can use the bracket key can use the bracket key to up it and I kind of like that which is at 15 and hardness will be 100 percent so it's a nice hard line we're gonna go ahead and hit D and then that way our colors are reset and you can see here if I just paint on that line you can see here that it looks like really nice so now we're now we're set then select our pen tool make sure that we are in the paths spot and then we can start <clears throat> now to start with I'm going to do the starting I'm gonna start with this top fin so I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna come up here to the end of the fin and simply drag out a nice line right through the middle of the one that's there like that I can then hold down alt and click on my selection here at the end and then come down to here about right here and drag out the selection going back the other way and that's actually a little bit too far so I'll come back and redo that so that it's more like that and just continue on with this curve and I might need to break this up in even smaller parts which is okay I just am trying it as I'm going along all right, so about like that. And that actually looked good, so I'll stay with that for now. Now all I have to do is right click and I can stroke the path. And I'll get rid of uh, simulate pressure, but leave it on brush, which is now going to take the brush settings we set earlier in the lesson. And now I hit OK, and our line is drawn. I can then right click and delete that path. And you'll see here that our line is then drawn. Now a couple of our edges are a little hard, but that's okay. Um, it's not perfect. <clears throat> we could have always went in and rounded out the edges a little bit more. Um, but for this lesson, I'm not going to get into all those details. So uh, go ahead and I'll start here and I'll do the exact same thing going to this point. And then alt click that. And I'll bring this one here down like so. Whoops. <clears throat> and then I'll go up here to the tip. Like so. Click that off. And it's okay if these overlap a little bit because it's just going to draw one line anyway. And I'm just doing the exact same process all the way down this image. And the lines don't have to line up totally perfect because um, this is just a quick overview here. It's not to get real detailed with this. We're mostly going to focus on um, the shadowing and highlighting of this character more advanced because I already showed how to ink in the last lesson, or last lessons, I should say. And 
I'm just going to come down through here. that stroke the path hit okay delete path now we can see we have some overlapping areas now but we can get rid of those as well just go to your erasure tool make it a little bit smaller and then you can erase with a hundred percent hardness right up to the edge where you don't want the line to be <gasps> which would be more like that and then down here on the fin kind of like so that's looking pretty good now we need to create the eyes and we can do that uh, with the paths again or we can just use our um, elliptical ellipse tool but I'm, I'm just gonna stick with the paths because I find it to be a little bit easier and circles are pretty easy, it's just a couple of points. <clears throat> Almost basically like every fourth. I clicked off the path tool here, sorry about that. And that actually looks a little funky, so we'll go ahead and do it the other way, just to, so I, that way I can show you guys as well. So let's go ahead and grab our ellipse tool, hold down shift, we can drag it out. Stroke the path, hit OK. Then we can delete path. Like so. And then we can zoom into that and delete the parts we don't want, which would be right here. And we're already running up to seven minutes here on the video, so I think we'll go ahead and finish up until we're about nine minutes or so and then uh, we'll call this one done for right now uh, let's go ahead and this this other one here in the back we can just use the pen tool for it because it's only half of a half of an eye here but we still need to make sure that we have the correct shape so I'll do it like so and then I'll stroke that path Hit okay that needs to be edited <clears throat> and that looks pretty good zoom in here Eraser tool and just erase that edge there. Actual pixels fit on screen. And there we go. This is starting to look good. All we have to do is do this line here, do the smile and the fins, and we'll be done. So we'll see you in the next part, guys.